What's up everybody? Alan Johnson with the AJ team here at Keller Williams. Uh, continuing our series for uh, about should you sell your property or should you turn it into a rental? So the question, second question that you should ask is does this home make a good rental property? So does this home make a good rental property? The three bullet points that I think you guys need to think about and the things that I think about when I'm buying um, a property and thinking about selling it or turning it into a rental is, is it a smart rental property? Um, I find that you need to think about whether the property is going to make sense for it to be a rental. So when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about um, is it a home that I've lived in where I've done so many cosmetic improvements that it doesn't make sense for me to turn it into a rental property because when I turn it back over to sell it, I've got to put a whole bunch of money into it to get it back to the state where I could sell it at originally. So if you guys kind of follow it, if I have a great, a great property I lived in that I put all these upgrades in and then I have a renter that goes in and lives in it for five to seven years and the condition of the property is not the same it would probably be it would probably make sense for me to sell the property and then go acquire another property that would be a good rental property so that's the first thing you need to think about the second thing you need to think about is whether you think whether you have a single family single family home versus a condo or townhome so the reason why I think about that is Generally, condos and townhouses make very smart rental properties. Why do they make smart rental properties? Because they're small, they're easy to rent. You're always going to get a, a tenant that's going to look for something that's smaller and easy to rent. Single family homes tend to be larger homes and people tend to, tend to not rent those properties as often as they do condo and townhomes. And then the second thing I think about uh, along that bullet point is when it comes time to turn that property over, condos and townhomes tend to, tend to be cheaper to turn over because it's a smaller space, so your carpet's going to be cheaper, your paint's going to be cheaper. Whereas if you have a 6,000 or 4,000 square foot single family home with all these nice cosmetic upgrades, you have to put money into it to get the next tenant in. So that's the one thing, another thing you need to think about. The third thing you want to think about is growth potential. So when I think about a, a property that I want to think about as a rental property, if it's in an area that I think has a ton of growth potential, meaning that where it is right now is going to be very different than where it is in maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, I'm going to think about keeping that property as a rental property. Case in point, um, eight years ago I bought a property in South Arlington. I bought that property based off of the potential that was coming in Sherlington and South Arlington, and it's paid in it's paid in spades. Um, it's a property that I always I'm always able to rent. It's a property that's increased in value, and it's a property that I knock on wood, knock on I gotta find some wood. There's some wood. Knock on wood. Um, I, I I really never have any issues finding a tenant. So those are three those are three keys that you need to think about when you're thinking about is this a smart rental property or, or if this is a good rental property. You have the dream, we have the address. Let me leave you with some information. If you're thinking about selling your home or if you're thinking about uh, becoming an investor, sellmyhomenova.com is our website. You can always go there. Um, you can always contact us. Our contact information is at the bottom of this, uh, of this video. You have the dream, we have the address. Alan Johnson with the AJ team and we'll see you soon.